Hello everyone, this is MopBot. This is a redstone tutorial, and this is how to build an automatic armor equipping station version 2. So, I have made it a bit more compact along the side. I don't have this redstone staircase here. I don't have this redstone line coming out the side like this, so it's a bit more compact in that manner and looks a bit nicer. I don't have this redstone line out front either, as you can see. The only downfall is that it uses some redstone blocks, which are pretty easy to get, but it also uses a lot more slime blocks. It uses five more slime blocks, that's 45 slime. And that can or cannot be hard to get, depending on your world and if you have a slime farm or not. So in case you didn't see in the version 1 video, to use this you click this button to call in the armor stand, and then you can click this button to send it back up to the top to be used again. It's very easily refillable, very easy to build, and very easy to use, which is why I like this so much. So to build this, you're going to want to come out here and go up three blocks like this, and then make a 5 by 2 platform, so 2, 3, 4, 5 like this, and then come out one block and put a button on top of that. In 1.8 you will be able to put buttons on blocks themselves as well as on ceilings, so this is possible as of the 1.8 update. So then you're going to want to go underneath it like this and place a sticky piston facing down with a redstone block on its face. Then come out one, two, three, four, five, six blocks and fill it with redstone. And I'm going to grab a repeater for what I'm about to do. So we're just going to go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then come out a block, place a repeater on four ticks, and then one, two, three, four more redstone like this, and one more repeater set to two ticks. Next, you're going to want to dig out this area like so. You go from just before the repeater all the way back to the redstone block in all directions like this. Then you're going to want to find one block away from the wall that you just created and dig down one, two, three, four, five blocks and then you're going to want to do the same next to the redstone line that you have placed. Then you're going to want to grab a sticky piston right here in the middle like this and then grab a slime block and place this on top of that sticky piston. You're then going to place redstone blocks on top of that. And this will fire the pistons to be placed right here against this wall. And then you place one block on their face and one more block diagonally down, like so. Then you're going to want to come over to this little channel you dug out and place the sticky piston facing up with slime box on top of it and four more over. Then you're going to want to come up three blocks from this block here, so one, two, three, like that, and then out five blocks, and then glass on top of that. Now it doesn't have to be glass, I just use glass because it makes it a lot easier to see what type of armor you're going to be grabbing. You can place buttons along the bl blocks here, and then along the back you can take trap doors and place them on the bottom half of these blocks. Your armor stands will then go on top of this. So now you're going to want to come out two blocks from the trap door and then go up one additional block and build out your five blocks, which is the same length as the glass and the trap doors. And you can get rid of those two blocks and then you can go back two like this, destroy that middle one, and then make another line of blocks like this with redstone dust on top of them. Then come over here and place sticky pistons on the face of these blocks so that you can get your armor stand to be pushed back on top of here. And that is pretty much all the redstone wiring that you need to do. The very last step is just to place a redstone block, or sorry, not redstone block, red clay is what I'm using there, and then grab a redstone torch like this, and just make a little torch tower, very simple, like this, and then one block on top of it to power this line. So then you should see that if you click this button, all the things extend, and it ends with that extending. So let's click it again, and you can see everything goes in sync. So if I grab an armor stand, and we put it at the top here. And I'm just going to be placing it backwards because it's easiest. Click this button. Down comes the armor stand. Click this button again. And there it goes right back to the top. So as you can see, those are the few tweaks that I have made to the system to make it a lot easier to use and make it look a lot nicer. If you guys have any tweaks or changes that you think I should make, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section, and maybe you will see a version 3. But anyways guys, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.